Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. With the tournament coming up and the end of the season right around the corner, I thought it'd be a good time to cover the three best decks of each archetype so that you have a last minute climbing deck or maybe you see something that you'd like to try for the first time. Whatever you're looking for, there will definitely be something for you. So I wanted to do a 180 since I covered aggro decks last and give you guys some control decks. Before I get into the decks, if you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date with my content. Our journey to 10k subs is still going strong, and I need all the support I can get, so it'd be awesome if you joined. This is the only channel where you can get my specific style of content and in-depth guides, so you won't regret subbing. I also stream on Twitch often, so check me out over there if you're looking for live gameplay of someone who's hit high master tier every season, and even hit rank 1 in NA a while back. I'm trying to go for a Twitch partner push in the next couple of months, so it would mean a lot to have you stop by. Each and every person in chat goes a long way. With that, I hope you enjoy these deck rundowns. Alright, to start off the control lineup, we have Twisted Fate Annie with a win rate of 52.21% and a whopping play rate of 5.78%. It is the most played deck on ladder right now. As of recording this video, it is quite scary. It is an absolute powerhouse, so it wants to play around Raven Bloom and Annie in the early game, ramp them both up, use a lot of removal spells, get to the mid and late game, win through Riptide Rex Tybalk shenanigans because Tybalk amps every single cannon barrage that comes down from Rex for insane control combo finishes. So it's got the triple Annie, two Blades Edge, three Conservatory, three Ravenous Flock for Execute with the Blades Edge, uh, with the Make It Rain, with the Red Card, with the Arachnoid Sentry, a lot of combo potential. So Ravenous Flock is a must include. Double Disintegrate to kill uh, higher HP targets. Deckhand to summon Powder Keg. Powder Keg synergizes with the Make It Rain, synergizes with TF Red Card. Really scary stuff. House Spider because it's really good defensive body. Make It Rain because it's premium removal. Arachnoid Sentry to stun and also combo with the Flock. Uh, three Death's Hand for more removal, basically Mystic Shot plus one extra damage. Uh, one cute Scorched Earth in here, this is to also help execute or to destroy a landmark. Uh, Twisted Fate, of course. Three Zap Spray Fin to help fetch more resources. Triple Eye of Nagakaboros to draw, and then Riptide Rex to close it out. And that about wraps it up for the deck. Now here's a live commentary game so you can see how the deck plays out. I'll be giving context of why I'm playing certain cards and hopefully it gives you a good feel on how to play the deck. All right, for the showcase game, we got Jin Annie. Uh, this should be actually a pretty tricky matchup for us because all their damage sticks. We have no way to heal or anything, but we do have good removal to slow them down. So let's go ahead and pitch these two. We'll keep Conservatory, play that on one. We have House Spider. We have a beautiful Twisted Fate. Go ahead and do that. They're probably going to set up Annie or another aggressive one cost. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can actually just death sand her too. Ooh, disintegrate. No up her. We have House Spider. House Spider's really good on defense too. Yep. Just Annie? Um, that's fine. I figured they'd attack with Saboteur as well, but they don't want it to die to Spiderling. Cool. I'll happily take that. So, oh my goodness. I really like another house spider, to be honest. Even over the death sand. I don't think Annie's going to level quite yet. Let's just set up a, like a wall. A wall of spiders. I can do this. Should be hard for the opponent to get through. We can also block to do TF red. Oh, we're on double TF. We're going to show top deck TF for uh, maximum tilt factor. That goes a long way too. So if they play anything, we're actually just gonna slam red because I think that denies a good amount of damage. Oh, they played the up red. This is a big turn for us. I don't even mind the gin. That's already minus three damage, right? They're they're losing two, and then they're also losing Death Lotus um, number one. Got the tibbers though. I wanna play a game of hide and Alright, we'll go ahead and throw a spider in front of you. You can also do a house spider here. Um this is getting stunned anyways. 
So we can go ahead and cheat the Jin block with my 1-1 one, one Spiderling. Or I could Death's Hand and finish off the Jin. That sounds pretty good too. Um Let's do like this then. Yeah, that seems more efficient. Right? No, I'm mm. Because now I take damage from this. That Lotus is going to stun that. That's kind of annoying. I take five. I really don't want to take five. Mm. You gotta trust your instincts. I know I gotta trust my instincts. Give me a second. This is probably fine. I don't mind this. That way we're only taking three damage. My Spiderling is going to go back there. We can still use it though. Okay. That seems good. It's a bit of a tricky block. Better run. I have prepared something very special. Backfired. It'd be cool if I could get my TF killed and then just re-red card or something. Um Make it rain. Wait, that's massive. I'm pretty sure I just slam make it rain here. Yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed gin kill. Is it before they have a response? Yes, no no fervor. Cool. Alright. Another gin? Eh, let's just swing with everything. We have disintegrate for Jin. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Um, I don't really want to pick a card. Only if I was helping him level. Ah, Blade's Edge is really good. Is just is this gonna be just Tibbers? That's actually pretty good for them. Um. No, it's not Tibbers. Embrace it. Your adoring public. Let's go ahead and do Blade's Edge disintegrate. We need to cast it in this order: Blade's Edge first, and then disintegrate. There we go. That way, it resolves backwards, dealing the disintegrate effect and then the damage. Go ahead and just get him out of here. Ah, pretty good fervor, all things considered. That's pretty good. What we do is so much bigger than us both. And I think I could just do the death's hand during combat. Maybe make them think that the attack is good now. Just double block, death's hand the Annie. Go next turn, have tie bulk. Mm. That's getting killed. I don't like Mana Soul Student being here. Yeah, we'll block both of these. So they're on one card and then a Tibbers. Kind of annoying. Uh, tie bulk. So does the tibbers come down now? It does. Stunning just my tie bulk. Okay. Sling with uh, twist of fate here. We have disintegrate for the attack. Bonk. Um, saboteur. Sure. Wonder if I should have pick a carded. I don't know. Mayhaps. That's a probably, right? But I could also do this. Only take three, then play new TF for red.
Yeah, we'll play the conservatory. Then we'll do uh, TF red in case they develop something. We get plus one red card. Look at that. Look at that order. Beautiful red. Then we can open attack and play Rex and win. Uh, the only thing that would outplay me is Fervor now. And then top deck decimate. Oh, please don't tell me that's going to happen to me. There's no way, right? There's no way they top deck decimate. Because my best course of action is literally attack and then play Riptide Rex for game. Please don't tell me it's decimate. Please don't do it to me. I'm not ready. Oh my god. Okay. My life flashed before my eyes. I swear I thought that was going to be uh, decimate. Alright, for the next one we have Heimerdinger Jace Control. Sitting at a 53.46% win rate and a play rate of nearly 2%. It is actually a very solid deck. This is one that I covered a couple weeks ago. I actually quite like it. It's a pretty fun control deck. It plays around uh, value and tempo more so than anything else. So it wants to play turrets, which are really, really fun for me. Production Surge. Spend all your mana, summon a bunch of turrets. Pretty cool. Uh, Thermo Beam, Adaptatron. I call this guy French Fries because it looks like a uh, McDonald's French Fry container. We got Forge Chief, Pharos Financier, Mystic Shot, Vile Feast, really good removal. Flash of Brilliance, really good combo tool with Heimerdinger to get free turret and also uh, extra spells. Hextech Handler, oh, this card when he comes out buffs all of your turrets everywhere, absolutely scary. Uh, Archivist for more cycle and finding more spells. Jace as one of our win cons, Heimerdinger as one of our win cons. Man, these two together are so cool now because Jace double casting counts for Heimerdinger turret. So if you double cast a six cost, you're going to get two floor be gones. Very scary. Uh, Piercing Darkness, Shock Blast, and Vengeance as premium removal and heal. Get back into the game. Really, really nice. Also, Shock Blast can double up as a finisher because it targets the Nexus. Very cool. This is one of the decks, again, I covered, so I talk about each of the cards specifically. If you want to check out the very in-depth deck profile, I highly recommend checking that out. But for now, let's go into the showcase game. Alright, so we have an Alawi list being paired with Noxus. Pretty cool. So we're going to deal with some tentacles this game. Removal is pretty good. So our priority number one is going to be keep the tentacles down. Don't let them get out of hand. So we're going to keep a thermal beam for that and pitch the rest. Okay, well, it's safe to say that the tentacles nor the Alawi are going to be able to play the game. Uh, we can do Financier. Uh, we have plenty of removal. We could do Hextech Transmogulator that could turn a tentacle into something weak, or we can do Assembly Line for units. It's an awesome day for progress. I'm kind of down to get some units. Another idle. Up. Um, we'll swing. This thing is going to be a 3-3 next turn. Right. Double idle's a scary opener. Why are you attacking? Alright. That makes my job kind of easy. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off with a Mystic, right? And then next turn, it's only going to be a 2-2. Two -two. Mm. Now I can do um, Assembly Line. I like that. We don't really need to float for Heimer because we don't have pretty good spells to play with him, so we're just going to hold Heimer in our hand. Play around him uh, later. I'll figure it out. For now though, I think Assembly Line on Attack 4 is really good. I have Nagakaboros, alright. Mmm, sure. I'm not convinced I actually have to attack. I could let the Tentacle, yeah, pop off and then just Vengeance it. They don't have any protection, they're not in Ionia or anything, so they can't deny my Vengeance. I'm just going to kill it soon. I can't do it next turn, though, because we're on five. Uh, let's see. can't kill a Lowie either. Six HP. That would be kind of scary. Storm's brewing. Storm's uh, always brewing. Uh, okay. How about we do Heimer and then block both of these? Answers. I have them. We fail ever block. I could keep this alive, but nah, let's just block it. 
Yep. Um. Then we can do. Oh, what's up, Jace? We could do Forge Chief. I kind of like the idea of Forge Chief because I get to attack and get my mana back. Alternatively, I can do Vengeance now and just get my six cost turret. That goes a long way as well. And then we play level Jace on seven. I like that. Let's just do that. Forge Chief kind of complicates the play. We don't need to complicate things. We will just commit to the game plan. Life is too short. Round and round and round and we just cut her off. She was trying to say something, but we are rude. Yep. And that's one tentacle dealt with. One big tentacle. Mm. We can reasonably remove her too. I... Life has so much to offer. I don't want to be greedy and just play the Jace. Just because I'm not nice. Oh, this is going to be cool. I hope they don't surrender. Because if I do Jace, we can double cast the uh, Piercing or the, the Vengeance. And get double turrets. Timer's going to level. Turrets are scary. Oh. Oh. A chance to live. Why are you attacking, bro? Try and get your Allowy killed. Sure. Alright, let's get that let's get that Allowy. E? Alright. Minus one Allowy. Jace. Uh quick attack. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Nothing beats hmm. field testing. Production surge would also be fun, and then just do acceleration gate double cast. Oh no, my fun. It just got ruined. Hmm. That's okay. Let's do it anyways. Wow. One scary turret. Okay. Um Forge Chief. Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. We're running into heat issues. What you got? And then acceleration gate. Sounds fun. Whenever I see Acceleration Gate, I tunnel so hard. I just want to play it. Aw, oh, Tentacle Smash. Hmm. 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 It's just Valfius as a response to kill it. I don't like Vengeance because then a new tentacle will spawn. It's fine. Minus one Jace. We don't need him. We don't need the Jace. We don't need the Heimer. Trust. We will win through turret pressure. Alright, let me get some turrets. A another scary turret, and then some little bots. I think we're in a good spot, though. 3 HP, so that way... Oh, hold on. Speaking too soon. Maybe it's a make it rain. Oh, never mind, they put it back. Commence the attack. I mean, it's the attack. All right, they they thought about it. Let's go, people. Uh, I'm down to thermo for one. Ah, it's an answer prayer. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. We have other big removal for next turn, so we can thermo for one. Embrace. Top deck shock blast. Win the game. Ah. Uh. Ooh, this is nice too. Though. Look, I'm wide on turrets. It's basically like frenzied skitter, but a little bit better. Tentacle smash, you got it. I've been smashed so many times by tentacles this game. I forgot how many there were on. Feels like they've had infinite tentacle smashes. 
What? What? It's such a random card. Heal an ally or Nexus. Okay. Use it. Use it or lose it. Because I want them to use it and then it hits uh, their tentacle and then I just kill tentacle. Right? That's optimal for this turn. Then I just went on open. Like guaranteed. Even more so than I already do. They're kind of in a position where they have to flow or they lose on open anyways. Use it. No! Wh what? Why wouldn't you use it? Alright. You're so weird. Okay. We got him. Alright, and the final control deck I have is FTR, otherwise known as Feel the Rush. Sitting at a 53.7% win rate and a play rate of 1.14%, it's actually pretty good. It's been a staple control deck for literally years now, so it plays around the Freljord and Shadow Isles removal tools, some AoE, some single target, lots of healing, lots of ramp, and what it wants to do is play Feel the Rush. Summon two different champs from uh, your hand deck, grow their stats to 10-10, so you get a big Trindamir with Overwhelm, you get a big level Trundle. If you have played Trundle plus Ice Pillar and then FTR, then you have big Trundle here and they just swing for game, right? It's really scary, it's really good against aggro decks because you're able to just uh, kill their board over and over and over. Uh, we have the Three Sisters, this is a flexible card, usually it's Flash Freeze, you can do it like other stuff though, like Entomb and Fear of the North for some spicy plays. Faces to Ramp, so if you Behold, you see a eight cost thing in your hand you get a mana gem really nice that way you get to your mana gems faster than your opponent and get the ftr out as quick as possible foul feast avalanche blight ravine box all standard removal in some variations of numbers whatever you want to play triple catalyst to ramp triple trundle to withering one piercing darkness lots of heals uh, vengeance really big removal and atrocity in case it goes a bit long and you need to have an alternate win con it that stares uh, also really good against landmark decks, and it can deal 3 AoE damage to units. Uh, Trinomir, Voices, gain 2 empty mana gems for the top 5 cards in your deck, draw each one that costs 8, so this is really good at getting to your high value cards and ramping. Uh, Ruination, uh, this is the panic button, get me out of here, everything's too big, we're going to Ruination. Uh, she Who Wanders, this is a blowout card, you activate this and then your opponent instantly loses the game. And feel the rush. Also, your opponent pretty much instantly loses as long as they don't have a deny or right of negation for this. All right, and on to the showcase game. All right, we have a control versus control matchup. For you psychopathic control players, this is what you live for. We have uh, Soraka Braum, so we're gonna get rid of that. We can keep the vengeance. We definitely want to keep the ramp. Both ramp. Ah, eh, forget the vengeance. Let's just ramp. Maybe we can find. Uh... Oh my god, infinite ramp. We're gonna be on FTR so fast. Alright, cool. I learned my scars. Uh yeah. I'm not damaging that ever. Nope. Don't gotta play that either. We can just do a catalyst on three. Easy clap. Oh what up, Trundle? I am here to help. Ramp it up. Yeah, we can stop to play Trundle too. We can go ahead and play Trundle now. I mean, we could ramp. We could also ramp. It's pretty cool. Uh, ramp six seven. And we can play the Trundle now. The trolls are going to war. That way, we have something on board. How can Brom end? That's pretty cute. Yeah. By starlight. Yo. If I get uh, She Who Wanders, I can just obliterate everything that they do. Alright, let's ramp it up. Easy ramping. <laughs> They're probably like, oh no. Oh no. The Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Get that ice pillar down here. One troll to rule them all. All right. Uh, and then we can ramp 
into 10 mana so we can play Field Rush next turn. Very cool. Let's go ahead and do this. And then swing into the Mighty Poro. Trundle gains a lot of damage. Probably have to be on some kind of freeze of their own to stop this Trundle from dealing 8. And then we're going to go into 10 floating 2 so we can just FTR next turn. And they're on turn 6 by the way. They have 6 mana. We have uh, 10. I've ramped into oblivion. Like, it's crazy. I've gone absolutely infinite with my mana gems. Yep. Oh, another one. We're going to show them the top deck to feel the rush. And there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, get the Ari dance in, okay. Another Ice Pillar, beautiful. And Battle Fury, cool. Yeah, yeah, you better heal face. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> Once FTR is resolved, it is a surrender angle. Trundle's having a good time. And that's it for the decks. I hope you enjoyed the different style. Doing aggro last time and then covering control now is a pretty good mix-up if I do say so myself. Hope you enjoyed this video and that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe if you thought this video was informative or entertaining. It really helps me out since I'm still trying to grow. I'll be releasing more deck profiles, guides, and gameplay highlights in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Laters!